Hello to all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll create a short database for MySQL flexible server. Earlier there used to be single server, it still exists, but Azure database for MySQL asks us to create flexible servers. So in this video, we are going to create flexible server of MySQL in Azure. Let's go to the official page by Microsoft. So here, we are under the documentation Azure database for MySQL and under the flexible server, we are inside the quick starts to create the flexible server through portal. This is the page which demonstrates how we can create the database through portal. Azure database for MySQL flexible server, it is a managed service that is used to run, manage and scale highly available MySQL servers in the cloud. And below this, they have given how we can create it through portal. Let's go back here in the Azure portal and we'll click on create a resource. Here we'll search for MySQL, enter. It will show up the different options here. Azure database for MySQL it will show, Azure database for MySQL flexible server it will show separately. So let's select this. Here we have selected Azure database for MySQL. We'll click on create. And upon clicking the create button, we'll see here the two options, flexible server or WordPress plus MySQL flexible server. So we are going to create flexible server, which is best for the production workloads that require zone resiliency, predictable performance and maximum control with IOPS scaling custom maintenance window, cost optimization controls, and simplified developer experience. So we'll click on create. This is the first page when we click on create. The first tab is the basics tab. And in the basics tab, the first option is the subscription. You have to select your subscription, then your resource group. So our resource group is cloud knowledge. Then comes the server related details server name. We'll give the server name as CK MySQL DB. So server name is available. Region. We'll let the region be East US, the default region. MySQL version, the latest version 8.0 is displayed. We'll let it be 8.0. Workload type for development or hobby projects. Okay. This is just for demo. Next is compute and storage. It is shown here by default as burstable B1S, 1V core, 1GB RAM, 20GB storage and auto scale IOPS. Geo redundancy is disabled. If you want to change the configuration of the compute and storage, you can click on configure server, which will open up this page. And here we have the options for the compute as well as the storage. At the top there is a note. Note that high availability and read replicas are supported only for the general purpose and business critical tiers. So if we have to use high availability and read replica option, then we have to select general purpose or business critical. It won't be present in burstable. But here we are just demonstrating the creation of MySQL database in Azure. So we'll let the option be burstable. Next is compute size. It is of different compute size. We'll let it be the lowest size and then the storage storage size in gbs here it is given the least is selected iops is auto scale pre-provision option storage auto growth it prevents a server from running out of storage and becoming read only so this will let it be checked high availability whether you want high availability option to be enabled or not then backup is there backup retention period in days seven days is by default we'll let these options be default click save and then availability zone you can optionally specify an availability zone in which you deploy your database server to co-locate with your application so here there is no preference we'll let it be no preference then high availability option is present here too same zone and zone redundant high availability provides additional server resilience in the event of a failure okay we can also specify it inside the compute and storage as well as here outside this option is present. Next is the authentication method, which we have to select MySQL authentication only, AD authentication, 
M is SQL and Azure Active Directory authentication. Here we'll give the admin username CK MySQL DB and the password we'll give confirm the password by giving it again. So the settings here in the basics tab looks fine. We'll go to the next tab that is the networking tab. In the networking tab, we have to configure the network connectivity, public access or private access. Connectivity method to connect to the server, specify the IP address that can access this server. If you are working on real time projects, go for private access. But here, this is for demo, we'll leave it as public access. Allow public access to this resource through the internet using a public IP address. This option also will check. Then firewall rules, inbound connection from the IP addresses specified below will be allowed to port 3306 on this server. We'll check on allow public access because we want to access this server for demo purpose. We'll add the current IP here also. Now the next setting is private endpoint, which is in preview. We don't want to configure it here as of now. We'll click on next. Next is the security section where we have to select the data encryption type. We need not make any change. We'll leave it as default. Go to the tag section. If you want to add any tag, just add it. And then finally review and create. So here it displays all the configuration which we have given while creation through portal. At the top, it's written creation time is approximately five minutes. OK, so this looks fine. On the right, it will give us the estimated cost of the compute, storage, IOPS, backup retention, bandwidth, etc. And the estimated total. OK, we'll click on create. At the notification panel, we can see that it's initializing the deployment, now submitting it. And since it's written, five minutes will be the creation time of this flexible server and the deployment has already started, we'll come back here after five minutes. Now after five minutes, we can see the messages deployment is complete. We'll click on go to resource. And here comes the first page. CK MySQL DB is the name of the Azure database for MySQL flexible server. This is the overview page. Here it will have the subscription, subscription ID, resource group name, status, location. On the right side, server name, admin login name, configuration, MySQL version, availability zone, created on, which date, what time. Our server is created. And at the top, you can see connect button. And here on the right side, stop button. Means our server is started. The stop button is used to avoid unnecessary costs we can manually stop the server. So in this video, we studied how we can create MySQL flexible server in Azure. We'll have more videos on Azure database for MySQL flexible server in the upcoming days. Thank you for watching the video. Stay tuned. Happy learning. Bye.